I'm Lynn Chantel from VivaVegan.net and welcome to today's food tutorial. We're going to make a vegan raw pesto pasta and I hope you like it. Um, the main ingredient that I'm using is a good friend of mine, Reese's brand called Pura Veda. This is penne pasta, you can also get fettuccine and spaghetti. It's made from an ingredient called konjac, which is spelt K-O-N-J-A-C. Now, what we need to do with this is we're going to open it. I'm going to use two packs of this today because I'm feeding a few people. And each of the packs are 650 grams each. So, the packs come like this, there's two per pack and we're going to open those, we're going to rinse them and then we're going to soak them for about a minute in boiling water. Just make sure that every part of the noodle, every bit of the noodle is covered. So I'm just gonna fill this pretty much near the top. And what we're also going to use to add to this is a cup of walnut. And I've got about 20 little cherry tomatoes from my mum and dad's garden. Very exciting. So we're just cutting them into quarters, each cherry tomato. And then we've also got this great vegan brand called Botanical Cuisine. And they make some really good um, pestos and some nut butters and things like that. And this one's basil and kale pesto. Good. So my new film um, director, instructor, editor extraordinaire normally, Cam, um, he may have missed a few parts of this. So you've seen the ingredients, now you've seen how it looks. And the bits in between, we actually put some walnuts in and we actually put the tomatoes in. And I was just talking the very important matters about how I make this in summer because it's quite hot here at the moment in Brisbane in Australia and um, this is really easy to make because you just throw everything together and um, takes maybe five minutes not even that and this is good just to eat raw um, you can also heat that up later if you like to um, if you don't want to use pesto that's already made check out my pesto how-to tutorial and you can make your own so I hope you can um, make that for yourself and you can add whatever you like into it. Instead of walnuts, maybe add some pine nuts or just a few different types of nuts or seeds. Even some sunflower seeds would be nice. And um, let me know what you think. See you next time for our next um, tutorial, our vegan food tutorial. Make sure you subscribe and see vivalavegan.net for more information.